that was Deborah Cox. Uh, nobody's supposed to be here. And that is true. So we are learning more and more uh, about uh, our station here in this country. The more things change, the more they stay the same. It's Flint one week. It could be New Jersey the next, or it could be Detroit the next, or it could be because almost wherever black people live or brown people live, the, 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 the brown of the skin, the brown of the water, the brown of the air, bleak of the environment. And that is not on accident. Jackson, Mississippi is just the latest in a series of things that have continued to happen here. It's funny. You don't have to care. If you want to know how people treat their water, look how they treat their people. It's no shock what's going on in Mississippi, the poorest state in the nation. They 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 had they didn't they don't have money to make sure that black uh, people, that black residents of their largest city of the state capital have clean drinking water, but they can make sure that the Hall of Fame quarterback has a million dollars. They can make sure that they make it harder for a woman to exercise her rights to control her body. Isn't it ironic that the very place where Roe vs. Wade, the case that started, the place where the case that started Roe vs. Wade is in Mississippi, Roe vs. Wade is in Mississippi. Isn't it funny how people who claim and scream fervently that you have a right to life do not believe you have a right to clean water? This is not an accident. This is on purpose. It goes on and it perpetuates itself all over the country. Now, Jackson, Mississippi is the state capital, of the state's largest, most populous uh, uh, yeah, uh, city. How is it that the state, the crown jewel of your state, doesn't have the resources it needs? And I'll tell you how it is, because most of their residents are black. And it's, it's not just about Mississippi per se, because that perpetuates itself all over the country. The browner the skin, the browner the water, the browner the air. Because that is where they go to neglect things. That is what happens. Uh, if you look at uh, most of the people in prison right now have high concentrations of lead in their, in their blood. Where do you think that came from? Their environments and where they live and the things that they have, they're they surrounded with, their air, their water. Water is, is public, but they let private entities control it on purpose. So those private entities, much like it's not much different than Flynn, decide they're going to make money. It's, it's so expensive to be poor in America, almost no one can afford to do it. But what we don't get to do is be shot. They don't have water pressure in Jackson, Mississippi. They don't have, they're boiling water. A year and a half ago when I was there gigging, they were boiling water. They're constantly on boil water advisory. Their they're, they're, uh, hot water treatment plant constantly needs to be worked, reworked. They know it. This infrastructure bill and, and the state, if you got money to make sure that a Hall of Fame quarterback gets a million, $1.1 million to give a speech that he never gave or that you have uh, very other uh, frivolities that you can give money to, you can make sure that people have clean water to drink. You can make sure your citizens are okay, but you don't care. But you're not alone in that. That's specific and on purpose. If you look at all the, what, what, what happens is these municipalities used to be uh, predominantly white. Once they became, uh, the blacker they got, the further away they got from utilities, the further away they got from resources. It isn't that people leave these cities, they leave them bereft of anything. And then they complain, and look how poorly run these cities are, but they choke them off. It's, you, we should be ashamed as a nation watching some of our citizens have to boil water and beg for water. We should be ashamed of it, but it's commonplace, and it happens everywhere. It happens all over. If you want to know how they treat the water, look at the way they treat the people. You would never, they, can you imagine a neighborhood that was comprised of any any other demographic be going through this right now, this long, all the time, for decades? It's on purpose. You scrounge up money. You took money from a welfare fund, fund designed for poor people, a federal welfare fund, fund to get to Brett Favre. He, he, he didn't win that many Super Bowls for you to be doing that. <laughs> you always have money for frivolity. You always have money to, to, to do the things you want. You do not have the money to do what's necessary. You, sh you should be ashamed and as if Mississippi needed a reason to be more maligned. Boiling waters, no water pressure, brown water. And you know that this thing is, has gone on for decades, decades. And you could continue to pretend like it's just, a, it's just new. You got money to make sure rich people have. You should have money to make sure poor people have. You should have money. If you care about life, you should care that life starts off 
with a with a clean start, i.e. clean water. You should care. It, it's, there's a reason that you're the lowest in education and in infant mortality. There's a reason that is. Because the same kind of neglect that you that you demonstrate constantly, you have no problem. When, when you when you are 50, shouldn't you want to at least get to 49? Every time we turn around, there are places that show us exactly what they feel about us. It's Flint, it's Detroit, it's New Jersey, it's Los Angeles, it's Houston, it's Dallas. Everywhere we live, the water is browner, the air is browner, and our prospects are dimmer on purpose. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got the graduate report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the DLU Show.